Hi there, my little munchkins. How are you today? Hope you're doing good. Bubba's going to read The Bernstein Bears and the Double Dare. Once I start reading it, then you'll maybe understand what the double dare is, and we'll talk about that later. Okay? Whatever it is. Oh, dear. Here's a picture. It says double deer. Look at him going across this. Looks like a log, and it's up really high. That's not a very good thing to do. It was one of those days in bear country when everything was going so well, you just knew that any minute something would, was bound to go wrong. Papa Bear was off chopping wood in the forest. Mama Bear was putting in some tomato plants. Brother Bear was working on a tangled fish line, and Sister Bear was running up the front path as upset as she could be. Mama, Mama, she shouted. What is it, sweetie? asked Mama. Can you see here what they were doing or where she was running to her mummy? They took, they took, Sister was so angry she could hardly speak. Calm down, dear, said Mama, and tell us what happened. Some big cubs at the playground took my jump rope and won't give it back, sister said. Mama wanted to hear more, but brother had heard quite enough. He just knew it was those troublemakers, too tall Grizzly and his gang, bothering smaller cubs again. So off he stalked, heading straight for the playground. See how he's looking there and going to the playground? Not such a good idea, is it? Not only were Too Tall and his gang still there, but Too Tall was jumping with his sister's rope. Onesies, twosies, I love yousies, he sang in a mocking tone. Threesy, foursie, shut the doorsie. That's my sister's rope, shouted brother. Give it back, you big oaf. Or what, sneered Too Tall. Or I may have to cut you down to size, said brother, reaching for the rope. Can you see? See how they were talking over here? And see where he was jumping with the rope? Go ahead and try it, said Too Tall, keeping the rope away from Brother with one hand and holding him off with the other. You know what they say. Yuck, 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 he added, chuckling at his own joke. Half an oaf is better than none. When the gang joined in the laughter, Brother got angrier. He forgot about the rope and began swinging wildly at Too Tall. Why don't you stop bothering my sister, brother said, and pick on somebody your own size. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size, said Too Tall, grinning. And anyway, here's your sister's dopey rope back. Now see how he was pushing on him? That's not such a good thing, is it? Not good to do that. Huh, said brother, more than a little confused. Well, thanks, I guess. I'll be going now. See you. Hey, wait a minute, called Too Tall. I might be able to use a cub like you. You've got Moxie. Moxie, said brother? Yeah, spunk, nerve, Moxie. He put a big arm around brother's shoulders. Why don't you come with us and have a little fun? The rest of the gang gathered around and brother said, I really think I'd better be go. What's the matter, said one chicken. Another one began strutting, flapping his arms like a chicken and clucking. Buck, buck, buck. Pretty soon, the whole gang was strutting and clucking all over the place. Can you see here where they were trying to talk him into going with them? And over here, they're, they're making fun. They're teasing him because they figure if they tease him, then he'll go with them. I'm not a chicken, protested Brother. Prove it, said Too Tall. Come along with us for some fun. Brother was a little nervous about joining the gang, but he certainly didn't want them to think he was chicken. So when they scampered off into the woods, he followed. He got more and more nervous as they led him along the dangerous old quarry path, across Roaring Creek, and past a spooky old tree. After a few more twists and turns, Too Tall signaled to stop. When Brother saw where they were, he was surprised and pleased. Here you can see where he was going across on that log. And over here is that tree, he was saying. Boy, that's an ugly looking tree, isn't it? I've never seen one like that. That's just a picture. 
Hey, he said, this is Farmer Ben's watermelon. Shh. His too tall, clapping a hand over his mouth. You want to spoil our fun? It turned out that Too Tall's idea of fun was to run off with one of Farmer Ben's watermelons. And as the newest member of the gang, Brother was the one who was expected to do it. But Farmer Ben is a friend of mine, he protested. And besides, it isn't honest. The gang flapped their arms like chickens and clucked into Brother's ear. I'm not chicken, Brother insisted. Then go ahead and take the watermelon, said Too Tall. Farmer Ben will never miss it. See, and it tells you private property. You're not even supposed to go there, and yet they kept telling him, you know, to go that it was okay. That wasn't very nice. Brother Bear looked all around. Ben was nowhere to be seen, and it was sort of exciting being in the gang. Dare you, said Too Tall. Brother didn't move. Double dare you, said the gang. Brother still didn't move. D double dare you, said Too Tall, and the gang. Look at all the well watermelons, and he keeps seeing them. And those the bad guys really want him to take watermelon, and yet he knows he's not supposed to do that. So let's see what happens. The D double deer did it. Ever so quietly, ever so carefully, Brother Bear crept through the tall grass, through the fence, and past the no trespassing private property sign, and picked out the biggest fattest, greenest watermelon in the patch. Then he broke off the stem, picked it up, and gotcha, you thriving vermin, shouted a voice. Too tall and his gang ran away, leaving Brother Bear holding the watermelon. Farmer Ben had been hiding in the cornfield. When he saw who it was he had by the collar, he was almost as surprised as Brother. Brother Bear, what in the world are you doing with that watermelon? Stealing, too tall. Look at that, see now? The man that owned that, he caught them because he was watching to see what they were doing. At first, Brother was so ashamed he couldn't answer. But then the whole story came tumbling out, how he got Sister's rope back, how they called him chicken, and how they de-double dared him. Well, said Ben as they walked through his chicken yard, chickens aren't very bright, but they are too smart to do something stupid just because somebody calls them chicken. I guess so, admitted Brother. Just ahead was the meadow where Ben's sheep were grazing. One of them, a large ram, took it into his head to start running, and run he did straight for the highway. Your sheep are headed for the highway, Ben, cried Brother. Don't worry, said Ben. Shep, my old sheepdog, will take care of them. Shep raced ahead and cut the sheep off before they got there. See how they were walking together and he was talking with him? He was being kind. And then see the dog was running over here, trying to uh, stop that. Sheep are just like that, said Ben. Follow a leader anywhere off a cliff. It's the, if that's what the leader decides. And some folks are like that too. Follow a leader wherever he goes, across a highway over a cliff, to the edge of my watermelon patch. He looked at Brother, and Brother knew exactly what he was talking about. And speaking of watermelon, how about having a nice, sweet, juicy slice with me? Could we, asked Brother? Sure, said Ben, cutting a big center slice in half. And remember, hmm, this is a good one. Being part of a group is okay, and maybe even having a leader. But you always have to think for yourself, especially about important things like what's right, what's wrong, and what's safe, and what's dangerous. I'll remember, Ben, said Brother, and thanks for the watermelon. See, he was sharing it with him because he knew that, that Brother was a, a good boy. Brother decided to head home by way of the highway. And who was waiting around the bend? The Too Tall Gang. What happened, asked Too Tall. Nothing much, answered Brother. We had a little talk and some watermelon. Hey, cool, said Too Tall. Well, come on, we're going over to the wider Bruins and have a little more fun. No possible way, said Brother. What's the matter, sneered Too Tall. Chicken? Puck, 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 the gang. Ba, ba, bunch of sheep, answered Brother. Why don't you try thinking for yourselves for a change? Puck, 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 they shouted. Ba, 
Bah, much a sheep, brother shouted back. But the cub's shouting was interrupted by another noise, the sound of somebody crashing out of the woods. Oh, boy, that's a big one coming out of the woods. Let's see what's going to happen. He looked a lot like Too Tall, but it was much, much bigger. It was Too Tall's papa, Two Ton Grizzly. Well, what's up, Pop? asked Too Tall. What's up, growled Two Ton. Is a little phone call I had from Farmer Ben about you. And he added, as he turned to the gang, if I hear about any more shenanigans, all your parents are going to hear from me. Now get on home. The gang got on home as fast as their legs could carry them. They were afraid. See how big he is? Hi, said brother to sister when he got back to the treehouse. Here's your jump rope. Oh, thank you, she said. How did you ever get it back from that awful too tall in his gang? Brother shrugged. I asked them for it, and they gave it back. See how he's bringing the rope back to his sister? And Mama's gone up the stairs. Hmm, said Mama. You asked them for it, and they gave it back just like that? Well, said Brother, going back to his tangled fishing line. Not exactly just like that. See, he's fishing again, and she's jumping rope. He didn't really tell the story, but I believe Mama heard from the farmer, and the farmer probably told her what had happened. What do you think about that? It's not nice to fight, is it? It's not nice to do that. If somebody takes something, they're being very bad, and you were taught not to just take something from somebody because you thought you wanted it to play with. Because you have to ask nice. And you do what mom and daddy tells you because they're going to tell you how to do that and not be fighting. So you be good guys. I love you lots. Toodle.